assalamu alaikum dear students hope you all are fine by the blessings of almighty allah so in the last video lecture we had discussed the sign conventions of spherical lenses and the rules for the formation of images on spherical lenses that is convex and concave lens so today's topic here is image formation on convex lens Dear students, here we met six cases. For the formation of images on convex lines. And in every case, we have to discuss here position of an image format, size of an image format, and nature of an image formed with the help of ray diagrams. When an object is placed at different positions in front of concave lines on principal axes. So here case number first in this regard. This is convex lens, thicker in the center and thinner at eyes. And this is just aperture mm dash. And this is the straight imaginary horizontal line passing through the optical center what we call it as principal axis this is f1 this is f2 this is f1 dash and this is f2 dash so dear students here we met six cases the case number first is when an object is placed between optical center and f1 Case number second would be when an object is placed at F1. Third one will be when an object is placed between F1 and F2. The fourth one when an object is placed at F2. The fifth one when an object is placed beyond F2. And sixth and last one when an object is placed at infinity. Now, case number first here is... An object is placed between optical center. This can represent karte O C and F one. Let here A and B. It is an object. Whenever this from the object incident ray of light falls on this kind of X lens parallel to principal axis as per the rule of the refraction, the refractive ray of light it will pass through the fox. From an object A B, whenever the incident ray of light follows directly at optical center it will pass undeviated now from the back side of the lens aap beta yahan pe dekhte ho ki jo refractory rays of light jo yahan pe aapko mil rahe hain these refractory rays of light they get diverge from each other ye ek dusre se dur bhag rahe hain so back side behind the lens image formation nahi ho sakti hai so appearance inki hum jab inko yahan se hum plot karenge यहाँ पे एक पॉइंट ऐसा आ रहा है वह दीज रिफ्रेक्टेड रेज अप्लाइड दिस सीम टू इंटरसेक्ट हियर एट दिस वेरी मच पॉइंट दिस ए डैश बी डैश एंड दिस ए डैश बी डैश हियर इज एन इमेज ऑफ द ऑब्जेक्ट ए बी 
in this particular case the rays of the light after refraction does not intersect in real sense but they appear to intersect one is they appear to intersect the image formed here is virtual it is erect above the principal axis jiska size hai object size se bada it is magnified aur kahan pe bani hai beyond f2 so we can say here position image is formed beyond f2 after position next one is size ji yahan pe image ban gayi hai image formed is enlarged or we can say it is magnified that means size of image formed is bigger than that size of an object nature jo image bani hai it is the appearance of the intersection of the refracted rays of light but they don't in real sense intersect the image formed in this manner it is virtual and right so this was the first case to explain the formation of images on convex lines when an object is placed between the optical center o and f1 after discussing the first case now the second case where an object is placed at case number second when an object is placed at f1 yahan pe bhi beta humne size nature of position of image formation on convex lens explain karna hai so this is the convex lens whose aperture is mm dash yeah some straight horizontal line to pass karenge that will pass through the optical center of this convex lens this imaginary horizontal line known as principal axis here this is f1 this is f2 here it is f1 dash this is f2 dash now in the first case jahan pe humne object ko is o and f1 ke darmiyan rakha tha ab yahan pe humne object ko rakhna hai directly at f1 let a b here is an object from an object incident ray of light comes falls on convex lens parallel to principal axis as per the rule after refraction the refracted ray of light it will pass through the fox f1 now the second ray of light from an object incident ray of light from an object it falls directly at the optical center it passes undeviated now behind the lens you will see jo yahan pe gap thi in do refracted rays of light ke darmiyan ye bahut zyada tha jitna aap aage aage ja rahe ho to inke darmiyan jo gap hai ye narrow ho raha ja raha hai that means koi ek point aisa hoga principal axis pe bahut dur from the optical center se jahan pe ye rays of light jitna aap aage inko khinchoge jitna aage inko khinchoge wahan pe rays of light intersect karenge और उस पॉइंट पे जहां पे इंटरसेक्ट करेंगे दैट इज इंफिनिटी इस इंफिनिटी स्पॉट पे यहां पे ए डैश बी डैश इमेज बनेगी एक्सप्लेन क्या करना है हमें साइज पोजिशन एंड नेचर तो सबसे पहले साइज की बात जहां पे हम करेंगे साइज ऑफ एन ऑब्जेक्ट हियर इट इज वेरी वेरी स्मॉल कंपेयर द साइज ऑफ एन इमेज format so we can say image format is 
highly magnified or enlarged position complementary image image is formed when the lens at infinity and nature kya hoga image ka to yahan pe beta appearance nahi hai yahan pe to real sense mein rays of light jitna aap inko dur dur tak khinchoge ye aapas mein intersect karenge to we can say jo image yahan pe bani hai it is real image formed is real or inverted so this was the case number second to explain the formation of images on convex lens when we have kept the object at f1 now the case number second to explain the formation of images on convex lens that is third pehle case mein humne padha tha when object is placed between o and f1 second mein humne padha tha when an object is placed at f1 now we have to discuss here when an object is placed between f1 and f2 again yahan pe hum convex lens banayenge this is this aperture mm dash this is the horizontal line passing through the optical center what we call it as principal axis this is f1 this is f2 here we have f1 dash and this is f2 dash uh, now we have to place object here between these two f1 and f2 this is an object ab now from an object incident ray of light falls on convex lens parallel to principal axis as per the rule it will underwent it will underwent refraction and the refractory of light it passes through the fox f1 dash the second ray of light from an object fall directly at fox and it will pass undeviated the point where these two rays of light will intersect each other yahan pe image banegi aur kahan pe image ban gayi this is f2 dash aur ye f2 dash se piche ban gayi beta to apne explain karna hai size nature and position to sabse pehle size ki baat jab aayegi a dash b dash to image ka size zahir si baat hai object ke size se bada hai to we can say image formed is magnified nature aur kya hai image ka nature real sense mein reflected up uh, lens se jab ye light rays pass ho rahe hain to real sense mein intersect kar rahe hain to image jo yahan pe ban gayi hai it will be inverted and real uske baad position कहां पे बन गई बेटा इमेज 
और एफ टू डैश से पीछे तो यू लिखेंगे हम बियॉन्ड एफ टू डैश इमेज इज फॉर्मेट सो दिस वॉज द थर्ड केस टू एक्सप्लेन द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ इमेज ऑन कन्वेक्स लैंड नाउ तीन पोजिशन बेटा हमने यहाँ पे एक्सप्लेन किए When object was is placed between optical center and F1. When object is placed at F1. When object is placed between F1 and F2. Now the case number fourth, that is, when an object is placed at F2. यहां पे हम अगेन कन्वेक्स लेंस बनाएंगे दिस इज एपर्चर एम एम डैश स्ट्रेट हॉरिजेंटल लाइन को यहां से पास करेंगे हम थ्रो द ऑप्टिकल सेंटर जिसको हम नाम दे देंगे प्रिंसिपल एक्सीज दिस इज एफ वन दिस इज एफ टू इट इज एफ वन डैश एंड दिस इज एफ टू डैश अब की बार हमने ऑब्जेक्ट को जो प्लेस करना है एट एफ टू पे प्लेस करना है फ्रॉम एन ऑब्जेक्ट Incidentally of light falls on convex lens parallel to principal axis as per the rule after refraction the refracted ray of light it will pass through the fox now the second ray of light from an object follows directly at the optical center is the incident ray of light and this ray of light it will pass undeviated this ray of light it will pass undeviated the point where these rays of light will intersect each other to yahan pe beta image banegi a dash B dash, this A dash, B dash is an image. अब आपने explain करना है size, position and nature. तो सबसे पहले हम size की बात देखेंगे. Dear students, जो यहाँ पे size of an object है, वही बनता है same size of an image. तो we can say image formed or image size is equal to object. साइज तो यहाँ पे मैग्निफिकेशन नहीं हुई है यहाँ पे इलार्जमेंट नहीं हुई है जितना साइज ऑब्जेक्ट का था उतना ही साइज इमेज का भी बन गया जो इमेज फॉर्म हो गई यहाँ पे उसके बाद पोजीशन हाँ कहाँ पे इमेज बन गई इमेज इज फॉर्मेड एट एफ टू डैश उसके बाद नेचा हाँ कौन सी इमेज बन गई यहाँ पे तो दूर से क्लियर हो रहा है जो इमेज बन गई है इट इज फॉर्मेड टू द एक्चुअल इंटरसेक्शन ऑफ द रिफ्लेक्टेड रेज ऑफ लाइट सो इमेज फॉर्मेड इज रियल एंड इट इज इनवर्टेड सो दिस वाज द फोर्थ केस टू एक्सप्लेन द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ इमेज ऑन कन्वेक्स लेंस आफ्टर कंप्लीटिंग द फोर्थ केस और द सिक्स्थ केस इज व्हेन ऑब्जेक्ट इज प्लेसड Beyond F two.
when an object is placed beyond F2. यहाँ पे अगेन हम कन्वा एक्स लेंस बनाएंगे इसका अपर्चर है एम एम डैश स्ट्रेट हॉरिजेंटल लाइन को हम पास करेंगे थ्रो द ऑप्टिकल सेंटर इसको हम नाम दे देंगे प्रिंसिपल एक्सीज दिस ऑप्टिकल सेंटर this is f1 this is f2 and this is beyond f2 a dash a b yahan pe hum is a b ko naam de denge this is an object here we have this f1 dash and this is f2 dash when incident ray of light from an object Falls on the convex lens, parallel to principal axis. As per the rule, after refraction, the refractory of light, it will pass through the box. Now, the second ray of light from an object falls directly at O. These are incident rays of light, and it will pass. Undeviated. It will pass undeviated as per the rule. The point where these two rays of light they intersect. यहाँ पे बेटा image बन गई a dash b dash. This a dash b dash here is an image. Now we have to explain size, position, and nature. हाँ. Huh. Compared to the size of an object. जो इमेज का साइज यहाँ पे बन गया ये छोटा है तो वी कैन से इमेज फॉर्मड इज डेमिनेशेड पोजिशन कहा पे इमेज बन गई बेटा इमेज इज फॉर्मड बिटवीन एफ वन डैश एंड एफ टू डैश नेचर इसी टाइप की इमेज बन गई इमेज फॉर्मेड इज रियल क्योंकि एक्चुअल सेंस में जो रेज ऑफ लाइट की इंटरसेक्शन हो गई तो इमेज फॉर्म इज रियल एंड इनवर्टेड द लास्ट केस फॉर द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ इमेज ऑन कन्वेक्स लैंड दैट इज केस नंबर सिक्स वेन ऑब्जेक्ट इज प्लेसड एट Infinity. And the fall beyond F two. Here we have this convex lens with aperture mm dash. We have some straight horizontal imaginary line. We draw carrying and pass through the optical center. Called principal axis. Here we have this F one. This is F two. Here this is F one dash, and this is F two dash. This is beyond F two, and this is infinity. A and B here. This is an object. From an object, the parallel incident ray of light, parallel to principal axis, falls on convex lens. After refraction, as per the rule, the refracted ray of light it will pass through the box. Now, the second ray of light from an object 
comes in the direction of optical center in your students after falling in the second incident ray of light from an object when it falls directly at optical center whereas per the rule it will pass undeviated as per the rule it will pass undeviated see f1 dash let me keep here it f2 dash the point where these two rays of light they intersect वहां पे तो इमेज बन गई अब हमने एक्सप्लेन करना है साइज नेचर एंड पोजीशन सबसे पहले हम साइज देखेंगे हम दिस इज द साइज ऑफ एन ऑब्जेक्ट हाइट ऑफ एन ऑब्जेक्ट एंड दिस इज द साइज ऑफ एन इमेज द इमेज फॉर्म इज वेरी वेरी स्मॉल एज कंपेयर टू द साइज ऑफ एन ऑब्जेक्ट सो वी कैन से इमेज फॉर्मड इज highly diminished position and kahan pe ban gayi image image is formed at f1 dash nature ab kis type ki image ban gayi beta image formed is real and inverted so with that we have completed the formation of images on convex lens with the help of ray diagrams where we have explained size position and nature of image of an image formed when object is placed at different positions on the principal axis in front of convex lens for the formation of images on concave lines dear students we will be back with one more video lecture inshallah by tomorrow till then allah hafiz have a nice day thank you